so we've got a different kind of horsepower today. It has had a bit of a leak on the toilet, so. It's motorhome madness today, so literally. Oh, handbrake. Oh, handbrake yeah. <laughs> uh, running backwards and forwards with motorhome, so this one is going in for MOT. Now, this. Now there's certain things that we can do ourselves that are going to save us quite a lot of hassle from uh, getting a failed MOT. So we can check all of our lights. So, normally auto is really good. The problem is the other three nice trains that we've been driving today have all been manual. So every time I come to stop I'm trying to change gear and I don't need to. <laughs> so, dropped one off. We've now picked this one up that's just come back from MOT service with a nice clean bill of health. Now I've got another one to then go and pick up and get back. So we'll have a look at that in a second. And then the next one is the Bailey. So we've just been to pick this one up. Have a look at that layout. A very, 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 very nice layout. Full service history. I really like the colours. Uh, the colours on this is lovely. I think the kitchen sort of units and everything are absolutely spot on and then we've got this lovely island bed at the back so we can walk all the way around so literally uh, just putting all of our lights on making sure all of the lights are working have we got a set of lights out there oh we might have we might have a set of lights here but sometimes they may uh, come on and off as we turn so I'll double check those so um, on this we've got a set of lights off here all of these side indicators are working we can then obviously check our brake lights in a minute check our reversing lights so everything looks good except for those two at the front we've got to put our fog lights on as well so again just making sure that we actually check all of these lights so I've just spun the steering wheel and now for some reason these little lights are not working now that may or may not be an MOT failure I don't think it possibly will be um, but if we can get these working before they go in for MOT obviously it's just going to save a lot of headache and hassle when we get there and then obviously if we're getting a little bit close on time to uh, getting the MOT done before the old one runs out it could be a bit of a nightmare or if we need a new MOT before we're going on holiday but literally just checking our lights is such an easy little check that we can do at home and can potentially save us quite a lot of headaches because when we get for the MOT and then backwards in and forwards in trying to figure out what the problem is uh, if we can sort this out now or even book it into a garage then at least we can get that done before we have our MOT and hopefully it's just one less thing that we've got to worry about on the actual MOT itself. God a little Bailey pageant uh, that's just come in in part exchange so we're going to have a quick look at this one we've been very very motorhomey so thought we'd throw a caravan into the mix as well so oh I've steamed up I've steamed up let me try and clean my lens Gone all steamy. It must be uh, must be a hot caravan. This one. It's steamed all up. So uh, lovely little 2002 Bailey pageant champagne. Now this has suffered some damp, unfortunately. So it's all been resealed, but it has had damp in the past. He's going to go through, double check, make sure everything's all working. But it's actually a cracking little van. So it had had some previous damp up the front here uh, which again is all dry um, I don't know whether you can see that there but it has had some damp issue there everything else is really really good all at the front all around the sides um, is spot on on the damp we've got the little side dinette we've got our Truma heating that works on the gas and electric we've got our hot water that works on gas and electric we've got our three-way fridge that works on gas and electric and just generally a nice little van for the money now when we move to the bathroom again unfortunately it has had a bit of a leak on the toilet so it's got some damp readings around by the toilet um so realistically it's all sealed up so it's going to dry out etc but there is still damp readings there and it really wants a panel cutting out and a new panel putting in at the back of the toilet for it to be sort of perfect 
So it's a DIY job. We haven't got the. It's an expect for for a dealer to do. For the time that it sort of takes, it is an expensive job to do. But um, for a DIY job, obviously a couple of weekends on it, and it would be absolutely cracking. All the back is all nice and dry. So it's just literally that it's had a little bit of damp there and that very little bit at the front corner, which in all honesty, I don't think I'd do anything with. Um, but it might be worth just reboarding around the toilet. So uh, a nice little sort of starter van for somebody that is, it's 90% there. Uh, condition is very, very good. I think the main bit is just the bit of boarding around the toilet. And I think if that was done, it would be an absolute little cracker for somebody. Uh, or even just sort of let it dry out naturally. So uh, let me know in the comments, would you buy a caravan like this? Um, I suppose if you're a bit handy and you don't mind a little bit of work, it's a cracking little deal. Um, but obviously the damp does put off a lot of people. So today, uh, over at Gailey again this morning, so in between running around with motorhomes, trying to get them all in for MOT servicing, backwards and forwards, picking motorhomes up, etc. Um, we're moving forward with our plans for the future for Gailey. Now, as it stands, we've got an area since we moved in that still hasn't been cleaned up. The main driveway in is the worst bit. So this is all going to hopefully get cleaned up in a minute. And then we've got another area over the back. And the reason that we sort of need to get this area now done, even though we've got loads of, of space, actually, at this back section, um, our plan for the future is to build a bit of a, a building here, a bit of a structure so that we can actually service the caravans and it's out of the way and just a separate little area whereas at the minute we sort of have to line up over by our little we've got a tiny little area uh, for parts and what have you so we line everything up by there so hopefully this is the sort of first steps now to moving forwards and um, building ourselves a nice little area where we can actually work and be dry on wet days we can actually still work outside so uh, let's get on with it and see how it starts looking so we've got a different kind of horsepower today a uh, little skid steer uh, it's only a little tiny one so it's not a big area that we've got to clean up and we'd need sort of room to maneuver around etc so this is what we're going to be using uh, hopefully she doesn't let us down and we can get this area tidied up Still a scene of devastation, but at least it's got all the rubbish out of the way now. We can start now putting new stone back down. Uh, most of that area, once that's cleared out, the stone will actually be pulled out of there because we're going to have to put a concrete base in. So, um, But at least now we've got a half clean area for driving in and out and people can actually get in and out of the cars. And we can put some caravans in there now as well. So... Uh, first little steps just to sort of getting it nice and clean and towards getting a bit of a workshop here properly. So we've gone very motorhome again this week, sorry, but uh, hopefully if you've got to come up for your first MOT, um, if you've not had your motorhome long, it's just things that are very wise to sort of pre-prepare and pre-check. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video if you have hit the subscribe button hit the like button and we'll see you next time thanks for watching on mark at the caravan place